single message. Oh, it's gone. I can't quite see what that said. I don't know. Okay, and stepping up. So you're going to take your chin slowly to your shoulder. Turn the other way. To the front. And then go with the chin. And then mindful of your neck. Just with the chin. And then come back down again. You're going to take the ear to your shoulder and the other and come back. Take both shoulders back, lift them, bring them forward, big circles. I've got a lot of grinding going on. And when you get them to the front, lift them and take them back and bring them back. It's quite big movements. Okay, form gentle fist, breathing in, <coughs> excuse me, breathing in and breathing out on the out. As you let the shoulders go, you would breathe out on the out breath, wouldn't you? I mean, that's normal, really. And then breathe in. And let it go on the out breath. And one more. Okay, interlock the fingers. We're going to draw a circle with the wrist and a circle with the heel. Try and draw as big a circle as you can with that heel, and that way you'll get a good stretch on your ankle. And change direction on the wrist and Okay, feet shoulder width apart, hands on the waist, keeping the head up, and draw that big circle, right to the front, back of the sides as you can. Change direction. Okay, feet together, hands just above the knees. I'm going to circle the knees. So you turn the palms inwards as you circle and then press back. Circle. And change direction. That's one. And this time we're just going to bend the knees. So again, massage that area above the knee for bend. And press bend. And again. Last one. And come up and just shake out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do the egg she gone. Cheers, everybody. Okay. So taking the weight into your right leg, you're going to step out. Equalize the weight. Bring the hands up and stretch. Put the elbows out. And then to the prayer position. And stand by your side. And then extend forward. Let's a little bit more. Turn the palms up. Elbows to the waist. And push back as far as you can. Come back to the front position. Interlock the thumbs. Come up. Put those elbows out. You want to come up on the front of the feet and stretch. Heels down. Massage the back of the head with the fingers. The palms with the ears. Chin. Prayer position. Keeping the legs straight, we're going to press the palms down towards the floor. Feel the stretch on the back of the legs. 
Then turn the palms away from you, keep looking towards the ground, and stretch forward. Do a big circle with the hands. And slowly come up. The head is the last thing to come up. Bring the hands up in front of the body. Turn them up towards the ceiling. Look up and press up. Take your arms back. And then bend the knees. Okay, so you bring the hands forward. Eye level. And then slowly come up. And turn the arms And repeat. So extend even further. Turn the arm up. And the elbows. And push back. Prayer position. Interlock the thumbs. Up. And on the heel. Stretch. Heels down. Massage. Prayer position. Keeping the legs straight and the palms down towards the floor so you can go a little deeper this time. Turn the palms away from you. Stretch forward. Pull the big circle. And slowly come up. Bring your hands up in front of the body. Press up. Take them behind you first. Bend the knees. Bring the hands forward to the high level. And then slowly come up. Bring the palms down. Each one is a breath. Breathing in. And out. Stretch forward. Out as you draw the circle. In as you come up. Breathe out. In. And breathe out. And breathe in. And out. Then we're going to take three breaths. Breathe in. Out. Bring the weights across into your right leg and close your side. Just realised I haven't got that light on, so I'm just going to pop that on in a minute. Uh, but if that helps, it might help a little bit. Right, another quick drink. Right, so we're going to do the stepping forwards and backwards. So if you can get as far away from the screen as you can. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. You're going to take the weight into your right leg, step out shoulder width. Put your hands on your waist. Okay. Bend the knees just a little bit. So bring the weight back across into your right. Turn the left foot out. Transfer the weight. And T step. Okay, so your knees facing up. And you turn towards the screen. So remember, it's a slightly forward, but out to the side. Okay, so you've got that gap in between your legs. Put the toes down so they face forward. Bring the weight forward a little bit. As soon as you can lift that heel of the foot slightly, screw the ball of the foot, but keep that weight coming forward. So when you finish, go upright, shoulders, hips, head. You can just see, by looking down, you can just see the tips of your toes. If you can see more than that, you need to bring everything more forward. So you can feel the weight in that front leg, and your back leg is just off block. So then you're going to sit back, maintain that same level to keep those knees bent. The toes and turn them out. And this time you're going to turn. So as you turn, you're transferring weight into the standing leg. And you can peel the back foot of the foot. I've just got my heel at home. Once I know I've got all the weight into my left, I can back the toe and T step. I'm going to turn back towards the screen again. So this time again, it's a small step forward. I haven't put my hand down on the floor yet, but it's 
going out to the side. So you get that width in your step. And then you put the toes down, bring the weight forward a little bit, and then as you screw the ball of the foot, and keep the weight coming forward. And again, sit back. Turn the toes out. So start turning. You see how my waist is starting to turn, my elbows are moving. And then peeling the back foot off the floor, and T-step, and turn. Step forward, out to the side. Bring the weight forward a little bit. You can have the heel slightly so you can screw the ball of the foot into the floor. Keep that weight coming forward. I'm going to do one more. I don't know if you've got room, but I'm just going to do one more. I'm going to sit back and turn. Foot out. Start turning, peeling that back foot off the floor. And then once you know you've got all the weight in this leg, keep step, turn, step forward, but out to the side. Bring the weight forward, pivot, keep that weight coming forward. I'm just going to square up to the screen a little bit. Right, so to go backwards, you sit back, keeping those knees bent. Pick up the toes this time, just on the first heel. And then bring your foot into the side. Remember, it's that small seat. So it's back and out. Only a small step. Put the heel down. And then push and pivot yourself backwards. So when you finish, the weight is in this leg, but your toes are facing forward. So this time you're going to pick up your heel. Bring it in, back and out. But the weight is still in this leg. Once I put the heel down, then I'm going to start pushing and pivoting off the foot, foot and pushing myself backwards. So again, my knees are bent. One more. Pick up the heel. Bring it to the right of the left foot to the other foot. Step back. Heel down, pivot and push yourself back. Okay, and then just bring yourself forward. Step up, strong weight. Straight the legs, bring the weight across into the right. And press the step. So the idea of this is to do it as smoothly as you can, so you don't stop. You keep moving, but it's quite. It is slow. But you just keep flowing, and that's again where you get this flowy movement in Tai Chi. You never actually stop. Everything's flowing all the time. Even though we're not using passive. Though. So we're going to do that again. This time we're going to see if we can flow it. Make it flow. Okay, so again, go back as far as you can. So you're going to step out. Transfer the weight over to the side. Pick up the toes and turn. So you're transferring the weight in T-step. So immediately you're turning forward and out. Bring the weight forward, pivot. Keep that weight coming forward. Sitting back. Pick up the toes, turn them out. Stop turning your waist, because that will turn you. If you feel off the floor, bring it in. Turn your waist again, stepping forward and out. Bring your weight forward, pivot. Keep that weight coming forward. So as soon as it's forward, you're bringing it back again, turning the foot out. So then you're transferring the weight. Feeling the floor, foot on the floor, and turning and stepping out. Bring the weight forward, pivot, keep that weight coming forward. And we'll do one more. Sitting back, turning the toe. Turn, transfer the weight into that standing leg, peel the other foot off the floor, T step. As soon as you've done that, you turn forward and out. Bring the weight forward, pivot. Okay, I'm just going to come forward a little bit. So to go backwards, sit back, pick up the toes, in and out. Put the heel down. Push and pivot off that front foot. As soon as you've got the weight over there, you pick up the heel. And then you put the foot in and out. Put the heel down, pivot and push off that front foot. As soon as you've done that, you pick up the heel again. So it's continually moving. And then just to finish, you bring the weight forward, step up shoulder width, equalize the weight, slowly straighten the leg, bring the weight across into your right. Close. Okay? Takes practice. I know it does. It does take practice. So the idea is to keep the weight over that leg so that you're not transferring. If I'm here, you're not transferring it forward. So it can be a very small step, it's forward and out, but my this leg is empty. It's only when I put the toes down and get the weight a little bit and then I'll pivot and 
and bring the weight all the way forward. So it's 70% of my weight in this one thing. Okay? Right, we're pole smoking. I'm just going to face you because it doesn't matter which way we do it. It's just to give you a few tips just in case. So if you're a big shoulder width and we've done our commencing, okay? So we turn, keeping the knees. Now, keep the knees tracking out, keep the weight equal down both legs. So when you turn, you don't want your knees turning like that. So it'd be a good idea when you finish here if you want to practice in front of the mirror. Just try and check yourself, make sure you're square. You always want to be square. I'm square to the screen at the moment when we finish. So I'm going to turn my palms up and turn my waist and just raise the fingers to about eye level, okay? Now, when I look forward, this arm is in alignment with this, this arm here is in alignment with this shoulder at the back. So it's not, it's in alignment. And then when I turn my head and look forward, now I'm gonna turn my waist. As I turn my waist, I'm pushing in alignment with the shoulder, with this shoulder. So fingers are at shoulder height, elbows are bent. If I stand here, can you see? I'm not here, I'm not here. I'm not here, everything's relaxed, okay? So let's do the other side. Turn that palm up. Keep the weight central, you're just turning the weight. So you're circling your fingers up to about eye level. Then bend that elbow and look forward. And then as you turn, you're pushing in alignment with your own shoulder. So you're not over rotating. Knees are square to the front, so they're not buckling or changing. So you're gonna turn your palm up and circle and look back. And you look forward, you're looking towards this part, but then when you push, you're pushing in the line with your own shoulder. So I'm not going across, I'm in alignment with this shoulder. And again, so see if we make it flow. We do Say five. You're going to turn your palm up, look back. Two, bend your elbow, look forward. Three, push, withdraw. Again, see if you can make it nice and flowing. If you can make your shoulders relax, elbows sunk slightly. Nice and soft. Forward, push, two more. Keep those knees tapping outwards, don't let them buckle, and keep the weight central down both legs so you're not transferring the weight from one leg to the other. Good. And then we just extend. Take the wrist, allow the arms to float down, bring the weight into your right leg, and close the set. Okay. Hold on. Right, another drink. Right. I said enough technical stuff, so we're going to do the form now. See if we can get it. We might be able to do it three times. We'll see. We'll see. I'll talk. I'll give you a lot of description on the first one, and then gradually over the next two. I'm going to reduce the amount of talking that I do, okay? Right. So stepping out, equalize the weight. Commencing. One, two, sing the elbows, three, bend the knees. Repulse the monkey. One, two, three, push. The other side. One. Two, three, brush knee push, bring the weight across, left hand floats past the face, raise the right arm to the corner and T-step. Two, turn, bend the elbow and take your step. Three, bring the weight forward, pivot, left hand brushes, right hand pushes, bring that weight forward, feel it in that front leg. Sit back, maintaining that same height, pick up your left toes. Turn and stop raising the left hand and T step. Turn, bend the elbow, take that step out, bring the weight forward a little bit, pivot, right hand brushes, left hand pushes. Heart to the horse's leg, 
sit back. As you pick up your right toes, sink your wrist slightly. Turn the toes, separate the hands. So you're looking towards the left. Bring the weight back. Right, left palm faces up. Just going to hold the feet Two, turn, take that step forward, but out to the side. Bring the weight forward, pivot. Right hand down, left arm floats up. Remember this shoulder is more ahead. Sit back. Pick up the toes, turn your left palm down. That's the top of the beach ball. Turn. And as you transfer the weight, the right hand is the bottom of the beach ball. Turn. You're going to step forward, but out. Bring the weight forward a little bit. Then you can pivot on the ball of that foot. So left hand down, right hand up as you keep bringing that weight forward into that right leg. Wave hand, side clouds. Raise your left hand to your wrist. Turn the right palm out and pivot on the ball of the left foot. Lower the right. Transfer the weight to the left. Pick up the right toes. Turn to the left. Close the step. Raise your right hand to your wrist and turn your left palm out. Lower your left. Transfer the weight across to the right. Turn to the right and step out of the left. As you raise your left hand up. No step. Lower the right. Transfer the weight, just turn the waist, raise your right hand to your wrist, turn your left palm out. Going back the other way, lower the left, transfer the weight, turn the waist, and step. Lower, transfer the weight across to the left, turn to the left, step out with the right. Lower the left, transfer the weight, turn the waist, this time you're just going to raise your left up and turn your right palm down. Golden rooster, turn your left palm down, pivot on the ball of the left foot so the toes are facing the floor. Bring your weight across so you're turning your waist to allow your arms to come with you. Bring your right foot in slightly, pressing down and coming up with the right. Sink down in that left leg and step down, Charlie Chaplin. Turn, so your right shoulder's back. Press down with the right and come up with the left. Step down again. Circle the hands, we're going to do a right kick. So right hands on the outside, right knee to the corner, raise the knee off the floor a little bit, turn the palms away, separate, emphasis on the heel when you kick. Relax the foot, and come in. Circle the hands, left hands on the outside this time, raise the knee a little bit, turn the palms away, both the ankle, separate the hands, and a heel kick again. Relax the foot, bring the foot in. You're going to hold the ball, you're going to grasp. Bird's tail. Okay, so you're holding ball, you turn. So again, step forward and out. This is the ball to pop. So the right arm floats upwards, the left hand is down by your side. You're not square yet. Now we square up and do roll back. So right palm face down, left fingers palm up by your elbow. Bring your weight back to that back leg. Turn your waist to the left. Circle your right hand up in front of your chest and look back. Turn your waist all the way back to the front. Your left palm faces forward on the inside of your right. Have that gap. Push yourself forward off your back foot and then gently squeeze together. Both palms face the floor, separate. Bring your weight back. So pick up the toes, push the hips back slightly, pressing down a little bit, and then you're going to push off your back foot. So you bring your weight forward. So it's Upwards and forward movement. Elbow side. The other side, sit back. Pick up the toes, turn. Weight goes into your left leg. Back and hold the ball. And T step. So again, we're going to do this side. So stepping forward but out. This is an upward movement. Right hand goes down by your side. Square up. We're going to do roll back. Bring your weight back first. And turn your waist to the right. So put your left hand up in front of your chest and look back. Turn back to the front. So now we're going to do press. So you bring your weight forward, gently squeeze. Very fast, face the ball. Separate. Bring your weight back. Pick up your toes, push your hips back slightly. Pressing down. And then up. And forward. So let's push. So now we're going to do cross hands. So you sit back. Turn your left toes in. Turn your right toes out. It's not transferring the weight into your right leg and separate. So you're sinking your weight into that leg. Stop transferring the weight back into the left. You're going to circle your hands around so the right hand's on the outside. 
Take the right toes and turn to the left. Now you can step up shoulder width, turn back to the front and equalize the weight and slowly straighten the legs. Close in four, both palms face the floor, separate them to shoulder width. Seek the wrists, allow the arms to float down, bring the weight into the right leg and close the step. Right, no rest. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to talk a little bit, but not as much. So, stepping out. Commencing. We pulse the monkey. The other side. Brush, knee, push. The other side. Part the horse's leg. Right hand down, left arm up. The other side, turn your toes in, turn your palm down. Off the ball. Wave hand side curves, left hand up, turn the right palm pivot on the ball of the left foot. Transfer the weight, turn, set, make sure both feet are on the floor. And turn, and step, lower, transfer, this time there's no step, going back the other way, lower, transfer the weight, turn the waist, step, lower the hand and transfer the weight, turn the waist, and step, this time there's no step, transfer the weight, Golden rooster, so turn your left palm down and put it on the ball of the left foot. Bring back across and come up. Sit down, Charlie Chaplin. Turn, press down, and up. Separate the hands, you're going to circle right hand on the other side, kick to the right, so you look to the right, turn your palms out, flex the ankle, heel kick. Relax the foot. Left side, left hand. On the outside. So flex the ankle as you turn the palms away, separate and heel kick. Put in, hold the ball. So this is grasping the bird's tail. So we're going to do ball dog first. Step forward foot out, up, square up, roll back. Now turn your waist to the left. Press. Come back to push. You put the toes, push the hips back slightly, down, up, and forward. The other side. Turn your toes in. And bring your weight back. Hold the ball. Turn. Ward off. So it's an upward movement. Square up. Roll back. We're going to get ready for press. That little gap between the wrists, squeeze them together at the end, sink those elbows. Come back, pick up the toes, push the hips back. Bring that weight forward into the front leg. Cross hands, sit back, turn the left toes in, the right toes out. Transfer the weight and separate the arms. Bring the weight back into the left, circle the hands, right hands on the outside. Keep your right toes to help you turn. Step up shoulder width, turn back to the front and equalize the weight. Straighten the legs, separate the arms, sink the wrists, closing form. Well done. Right, we're going to do it one more time. Three in today. 
Then you can have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea then. Maybe some lunch. So, stepping out. Commencing. Repulse the monkey. The other side. Brush knee push. Bring that way forward. The other side. Part the horse's leg. Turn your right toes in. The other side. So as you turn your left toes in, you can turn your right palm down. So that's the top of the beach ball. Wave hands like clouds. Left hand comes up. Turn the right palm, pivot on the ball of the left. Lower and transfer, get the toes turn, step. Lower and transfer, turn, step. This time it's no step. Going back the other way. Golden rooster, turn your left palm down and pick up the ball of the left foot. Transfer the weight across. Left hand down, left the knee and the elbow together. Sit down, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie, place the knee and the elbow together. Right separate kicks, circle the hands around, right hands on the outside. Look towards where you're kicking, so your palms away, separate, and heel. That's the foot. Left hand circles on the outside. Left knee, so turn the palms away. Separate, heel kick. Then come back, away to the left leg as you hold the ball. T step. Ward off first, so step forward, foot out. Upward movement. Square up. Bring your weight back first and then turn to the left. Circle your right hand. Look back. Ready for press, have that little gap in between the ribs. Gently squeeze when you get to the end. Separate, hold the elbows, get the toes, push the hips back, down, up, and forward. Make sure that weight is forward in that front leg. Sit back, turn the toes. So the weight's in the left leg now. Come back and hold the ball. So you hold up again, forward and out. Upward movement with your hand, square up, sit back, turn your waist to the right, so for your left hand, your back, get ready for press, let me squeeze at the end, and have palms face the floor, separate, and back, pick up your toes, hold the hitch back, down, and then coming up and forward. Sit back. Cross hand, so you can turn your left toes in, your right toes out, transfer the weight and sink into that right leg. Circle our hands, the right hands on the outside, transfer the weight to the left, pick up the toes, turn, step, shoulder width, turn back to the front knee, close the weight. So cross hands, so you're straight in the legs, this is closing form, so you can separate the hands, sink the ribs, the arms down, and then close. Hey. I can't remember if we did that twice or three times now, but anyway, we're nearly at 10 past, so we're just going to stand and relax. We'll be pleased to know. Right, so feet shoulder width apart, turn to the rhythm and crown the legs raise. Okay, let the shoulders relax. So I'm feeling the like underneath each arm. Just relax, knees just on top. Have the weight in the pad of the foot, so not in the heels. Bring the a little bit more forward. And then we're just going to focus on this area. So feeling that expansion here all the way around as you breathe in and contraction as you breathe out. Okay? 
you're not forcing it. You're just gently taking it. Take three breaths. One last thing I will tell you is when you're doing reports on you, don't overturn, okay? Don't overturn because you shouldn't be stretching. You should always be within yourself, okay? So don't overdo it. Alright? Anyway, thank you very much everybody and have a good week and I'll see you all on Monday.